what is up everyone, it's the All Gaming Blog here, and uh, this video I want to talk about the PlayStation Vita. Now, although I put on the title of PlayStation Vita sucks, the title can be a bit misleading in the sense that I don't necessarily mean that the PlayStation Vita is crap, uh, and I'll explain on this video why the PlayStation Vita is not doing so good. Now, its first release date was on December of 2011. Now there's two major reasons that the PlayStation Vita is failing. One of them is the cost. It costs too much. It's the price is too high for a handheld for a portable console. It costs about two hundred and fifty dollars, and for that price, you can easily just buy a PlayStation 3, uh, an Xbox uh, 360, uh, uh, three or four Nintendo Wii's, or a 3DS, and the other reason is the lack of games. Now, the current uh, the games cons the games that the PlayStation Vita has consists in uh, spin-offs and ports from consoles. Now, if you're gonna have a port from a console, you might as well just get the console itself. And well, spin-offs nobody really seems to care much about them, anyways. So that's the two main reasons why it's failing right now. It's it's because of the, the sp the spin-offs and the, the ports, I mean it does not necessarily have anything that it's considered to be good to, you know, that that's considered to just, I mean, I, d I don't know, that's considered to favorites, kind of like the 3DS for example. Now the 3DS does have um, some exclusive, good exclusive games, which is what really makes you buy the game. Now it does have the 3D uh, element to it, the, the 3D screens to it, it does have the portability, it does have nice things to the 3DS. But what really sells it off is, you know, the price, the being in 3D and the games that it has. I mean, it came out with the Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros. Um, came out with really, really, really good games, it's Professor Layden for it as well, which is a good game. And uh, obviously there's new games over coming out for it, and that's what really makes gamers, and that's why the sales are going doing good, because they are developing for it, and they're making. Now on the PlayStation Vita side, the game developers just don't don't care about it anymore. They just, you know, they don't have any enthusiasm to, to create games for it, which is completely understandable. Because from their point of view, if you are a game developer, and you make video games, you want the people to buy the video games for you to make a profit, and, you know, you want to people to play the games that you're making. If you're going to make a game that not many many people are going to play, or it's not really going to sell that well, you just you know give it a pass. And that's what's happening with the PlayStation Vita. A lot of developers just give a pass and decide not to make uh, games for the PlayStation Vita because first, uh, it's a console that not many people own in the first place. Second, is it's the price of the game that can be considered, and uh, you know. In that that's that's things to keep in mind. That's things to just say that you know the consoles are gonna fail because if you don't really put an effort to it, I mean it, the potential for that console was great when it first came out. It had great uh, you know great features. Uh, it, it seemed to be to be awesome, you know, with the camera and the augmented reality thing and touch screen. It has um, you can play your PS3 with it. You can like put in there and play it. it. It did seem, when it first came out, it does have potential and it did seem a great console when it uh, was firstly announced. Unfortunately it wasn't really picked up that well and it, it, it's still doing very very poorly. Now, the price, I stated that the price is, is a big thing and again I, I'll say it again that uh, it, it's better for you to, to just buy a uh, PlayStation 3 or a 3 if you want a portable fix way cheaper than that and better get a 3DS that's what gamers are doing if they want a portable uh, console they'll get the 3DS instead because it's just cheaper has more game variety and it, you know it just has more games and more support for it uh, will we see the price drop on the PlayStation Vita for this uh, summer holidays unlikely and the reason why it's unlikely is because Sony does not want to acknowledge that the price on the console 
is what's really damaging the sales. The price on the console, it, it, they, they see nothing wrong with it. They see the price is completely acceptable, uh, which is not. We all can understand that there there is some powerful uh, hardware and software, and th th there's a profit margin that you must keep. And uh, you know, there's there's always they, they spend a lot of time and effort on it, and it's completely understandable that that it has have sort of a high price tag. But they see nothing wrong with it. They seem that they seem to think that the price is not the issue. Is not the reason why the console, isn't the, the PS Vita, is not selling very well. So um, I don't think the price will drop anytime soon. But it was hoped that it would drop uh, either this Christmas or in the summer. It's rumored. It's expected. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen. But I guess we'll see. Sales are doing very, very, very bad, very poorly. Sony, they're doing so bad that Sony will not even release the, the real figures. They won't even say how many actual consoles they said. All the, they said is they're satisfied. If it would sold more, they'd be greatly appreciated. If it sold less, they'd be more upset. But they're satisfied with this current sales right now, which is uh, okay. Okay, but we all know what really is. If they don't release the sales and they're saying that they're satisfied, we all know that the sales are doing very, very bad. And the console, uh, the PlayStation Vita is not really selling. Which is no surprise. It, it's failing in a lot of levels, and it's just bad business model. And I think it's one of the reasons why Microsoft has never, hasn't still been on the portable business, even though it was rumored that uh, Microsoft would release a, a portable console. It never happened, and that. I don't think it will ever happen because, for all their faults, Microsoft are good business uh, are good business people. So they know if there is any good market in there, they would have explored it already. Because they they do buy they you know they have business on everything. They do buy uh, whatever makes them money. Unfortunately for uh, portable gaming, I don't think it's if there's any money there, and uh, I don't think they'll ever see any because for that same reason. Now I could be wrong and you know there could be some new uh, new Xbox console or portable console in the near future which I find it to be unlikely but possible nevertheless. But so far there's uh, there's still a competition between 3DS and PlayStation Vita and uh, it's obvious the PlayStation Vita doesn't have uh, doesn't stand a chance to 3DS sales has been increasing although slow and uh, not really the greatest they have been increasing and I think we're going to see a bigger increase on uh, the Nintendo 3DS sales as well. The PS Vita is either going to go completely down or just... I, I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen. There are not many games for it, the price is high and Sony is not really doing much to to change that. So I don't think we're going to see uh, PlayStation Vita anytime soon. Now I was excited about it and I did want it for some particular reasons like uh, being able to play on my PlayStation 3 through it. But I don't, I don't think it's worth the price. I don't think it's just worth getting at all. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. And it, as always, uh, leave me a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you like. And uh, that's it. Peace.